Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Gin with Spearing, in innovating now with Rutico. Today we're looking at a new vision system from Cognex. It's the Insight 2800. So what's truly all the hype about? Welcome to this latest video and Richard Parker back in the studio again after a couple of years, Richard. Great to see you here today. So Richard has an, also has a new role as one of our vision specialists. With this in mind, Richard, tell us a bit more about the Insight 2800. Thanks, Darren. Yeah, it's good to be back. Probably has been about two or three years. Um, just quickly before we uh, go further into 2800, just wanted to talk about why vision is such a hot topic at the moment. Obviously, we keep hearing automation is the buzzword in the industry. Everybody's looking to automate. Companies are really struggling to cope with the hangover from Brexit and uh, obviously COVID. Mm -hmm. So really hard to get older labour and this can really help to fill that gap. Um, also, this new product in particular, much easier to use and set up compared to traditional vision systems. So you can almost think of it as vision for dummies. I think the phrase is vision for Darren. I, uh, it, for me, okay, I've never used this product, never set it up. Okay, so it'd be a good test. Okay, if yeah. I can do it, then anyone <laughs> can do it out there. Thanks very much for that, Richard. No. Let's take a look at the product in a bit more detail. Richard, um, we've got the 2800 here, Insight 2800. We've also got this light, you know, different lights filters yep. on the front of it. So tell us a bit more about that and why is it so important for people? Yep, so uh, this new light unit from uh, Cognex um, has red, green, blue and white light all built into one unit. So mm. with other cameras in the past, if you wanted that sort of functionality, you'd either have to use the external lights of different colours mm. or could have used different filters, but obviously that means you're going to have to keep taking your camera apart to change different parts. So this gives us so much more flexibility where, depending on the different products we're looking at, if we want to eliminate a particular colour of light, we can use, you know, say in this case we've got a red tube, if we wanted to eliminate that red, mm. we can use the red light. And that is very easily selectable within the software, so it's literally just a case of, when you're in the setup screen, we can just choose between different light colours. So at the moment, I'm looking at that with a white light. I can then change that to a red light. As you can see, we've got a different colour light wow. and it will give us a different effect with our image. And again, I can flick that to green or blue. All depends on you know what you're trying to do with your specific application. And again, that will help on production lines where you've got different products with yeah. different colours going along. So, yeah, yeah. that's correct. Okay. Yeah, we're going to quickly look at a, a live demo with um, some test tubes here. So uh, I've got Darren, my glamorous assistant, to uh, help with the test tubes. So they've got different labels, different colours, um, and we're also going to show a little bit of a, a test we can do to look whether the lid's in place and whether there could be a potential defect with the lid. So yeah, going to jump straight into the software. Brilliant. So uh, this is the Insight Vision Suite, which is free download from Cognex. So literally just open up the software, taking an image, and as you can see at the moment, the image, pretty horrible. We can't really do much work with that, so all it takes is two clicks to a first click to optimize the lighting, so camera automatically optimizes the lighting conditions, and then one click to set up a optimization of focus, Bang, okay. so and true we're done. Now, isn't it? So yeah, now we've got a really nice image that we can work with. So uh, first thing that I'm gonna do, once I go into inspection, is I'm gonna set up a pattern match tool which is just gonna help us locate each test tube. So I'm just looking at this little uh, logo which is present on each of the test tubes. So I've just drawn a box around the uh, particular pattern and that's just gonna add a tool so we can track that test tube in our, uh, in our area. So next tool we're gonna to look at uh, is the Edge Learning Classify tool. So this is the tool with artificial intelligence built in. So click on the Classify tool and then gonna draw the particular region around the product that we're interested in looking. So this is where we're going to be able to do our inspections. So uh, now I did the classifier tool to our job. And then what we're going to do, we're going to go through each particular class and, uh, and take some images. So first test tube we have here is the NH3. So I'm just going to call the class NH3. And then we're just going to take a sample of images, label that as NH3. And then Darren's just going to slightly move it so that we've got a slightly different image. And we're just going to label that as NH3. So that's our first class completed. So now we can swap that for another tube. Going for green. And this is our NO3 tube. It's all about that learning, isn't it? You've got to teach yeah. it what it should be looking for. Yeah, so, so. The, the system is building its own neural networks to decide on, uh, on which, which tube it believes is there. So take an image, we're now going to label that as NO3. 
And again, Darren's just going to move it ever so slightly. And label that as NO3 again. And then just take one more. So that's our second tube complete. And you might be able to see on the, on, on the software, there's a model health, which as we're going through and the system is building up that network, the model health is increasing. So we're up to 87%. We've got one more class to add, which will be the red GH tube. Let's take that one out. You could have got a smaller test tube <laughs> on a flat table. So take an image, we label that as GH. And then if we take a couple more, And we can see that model health is now jumping up and out at 95%. And we just take one more image just for a nice round three. So we've now labelled all of those classes with the different uh, different tubes. But we can also add another class. So next one we'll do. If Darren can do that. He's got a steadier hand than I have. So the next class will be where the lid is missing. So we'll and you've got a teacher, haven't you? Okay, what it should be yep. looking for. It's really important we do that. So just move our areas slightly. And we can classify that with the lid missing. Mm. And then we can just take a, another image. I suppose okay, the three images is just building up that. Yeah. You know, if there's just slight bits of uh, uh, alignment issues, okay, within that production line, yep. then it's factoring that in, isn't it? Yes, so. that's correct. Uh, another class we can also add is where the lid may be present, but it could be in a, a defective position. So we can just add a class lid defect. And again, we can take another image, label that as lid defect. And then we can maybe just change that defect ever so slightly so it looks different. And we can label that as lid defect. So that's how quickly we've set up well. a job from start to finish. And now what we can do is, uh, is show the different positions. So I'm going to put the camera into a live trigger mode. So Darren, if you want to place each one in turn, we can see there the system's telling us it's really happy. It's found a, an H3 tube. So we can take that away and try a different one. So this is the GH tube. And again, yep. it's really happy that's GH. And the last one is the NO3. Again, Brilliant. that's happy then. Darren, if you want to try, remove a lid. I'm doing a bit of that. I'm going to use the, the red one. And now we can see again, we've got a lid missing. And then Darren, if you want to try and create a, a defect with a lid. A jaunty angle. Yep. So let's try this one, the yellow one. So again, lid missing. But what about, okay, if I put that on? Oh, this is a challenge. <laughs> I need a very steady If I hold the There we go, team effort. And we can see now we've got wow. a lid defect. Brilliant. So yeah, I think that's a, just a nice quick demo to show how easy it is to set up a job from start to finish. Thanks very much for that, Richard, and showing that demonstration. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell. Look out for the next Gym with Spearing video coming very soon. Thank you.